the ultimate alternative music channel. This is Revolution Radio. We have to say, Army Chris, thank you very much for bringing us our next guest. Uh, our man, Army Chris, brought us this fellow by the name of Jake Buckley. Now, one thing that I have to say before we get going, my friend, our new bestie here, Jake Buckley on Revolution Radio, Canadian as fuck, episode 51. Thank you for joining wow. us, buddy. No yeah, 51. Yeah, we've done 51 of these. Who would have thought, amazing. right? Yeah. yeah. So we're super proud of it. And uh, yeah, Chris has been talking about you for a while now, brother, and, and we, wanted to, uh, we wanted to get you on. So thanks a lot for coming on tonight. Yeah, we greatly appreciate, appreciate it. That. How cool is it that you are able to have an email address that says J Buckley Music at gmail.com. That's me, man. <laughs> like, like the average person is going to look at that and go, Jeff Buckley. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> the only one. Like, there some, there's some business strategy behind it, you know? Oh, good for you, buddy. Good for you. No doubt. Awesome. Fantastic, brother. Well, again, listen, like I say, this is a busy night for us here tonight, uh, Canadian awesome. AF, uh, second, you know, second uh, interview that we're doing here. So this is fantastic. So uh, we're going to get our man, Army Chris. If you want to talk about this first track, we'll play a quick track of yours, Jake, here, and then we'll get into the uh, into the interview, brother. OK, awesome. yeah, short and sweet. I met Jake. I don't even know how many years ago we became good friends. I both cooked and DJed his wedding, and I'm never <laughs> fucking doing that again. Um <laughs> Jake's a local Edmonton artist. Uh, you, Jake, you can speak to this. Your your music style is 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 folk blues. Does that sound about right? Yeah, folk rock, folk blues, folk, folk rock. Sure, there's just yeah. too many genres for me to process these days. Yeah. Um, this I, I would say this is Jake's signature song that we're going to start with. It's um, the lyrics speak for themselves. So listen up. This song is called Tavern Down Below. Episode fifty one Canadians fuck Revolution Radio. Who's got the fan? Well, I know what I did. Yes, I know what I done. And I know where I'm going when my time here is done. And I know what you did. And I know that you fled. And I know that you mean it there. That's what the people said. Cause people like you and people like me were probably better off as just a memory. No need for goodbyes, I'll just say hello. And I'll meet you for a drink or two at the tavern down below. Well, at the tavern down below, there's never any ice. The beer is always bitter and the tender's never nice. At the tavern down below, you know, the girls are not so cute. The floor is always sticky and the toilet's full of you. Yes, I know what I done And I know where I'll sit When I drink my final rum And I know what you did So I'll save a spot for you Cause when you owe down below You have to pay your dues No need for goodbyes I'll just say hello And I'll meet you for a drink or two At the tavern down below Well at the tavern down below There's never any ice The beer is always bitter And the tender's never nice At the tavern down below You know the girls are not so cute The floor is always sticky And the toilet's full of puke
Let the tavern down below You know the drinks, they're not cheap You see the devil keeps your soul for eternity To Sounds like a couple of bars I've been to over the years. Boom. <laughs> so a couple of hey, three. I'll get you I three facts. I love that. Three hey, facts man. about Mr. Jake Buckley, just to help you like, drive the questions. Three facts. One, he's got a beautiful wife. Two, he's a great cook. And three, he drinks the shittiest fucking beer I've ever seen in my life. He drinks like Brava or some crap. Oh, yeah, Brava, is the gold. beer of some. What isn't it Bavarian or Brava? <laughs> <laughs> it's oh well, my I drank god, Brava dude. For a while when I wasn't working, but. <laughs> There's money in the bank now, so I'm like up to Keystone or something like that. Good stuff, fantastic. Well, <laughs> congratulations on the upgrade. We appreciate it. So yeah. I guess we'll. I guess let's let's start out with your beautiful wife. Um, yeah, <laughs> I mean, sure. I, I, I don't know. Anyway, uh, okay. So Edmonton, obviously, that's yeah. uh, you're a good Edmonton boy. Uh, Born, right? When when did you start um, this journey? Essentially, that you that you're on now. How how long has it been for you? Um, I wrote that song in like 2012 and then oh. I had a couple other songs, but we kind of based the EP around that song in 2012 and then we recorded it in 2013. So 10 years ago now, um, kind of the basis for the album was that nothing was going to be plugged in, but we still wanted to have kind of like a rock acoustic rock kind of feel. So all of the instruments on that EP, nothing was plugged in. They're all acoustic and everything's just recorded with microphones. So, and then, uh, yeah, so I got lucky with the tavern down below. Uh, I came in second or third place in a couple, um, in one competition here in Alberta on a radio station, which got me some uh, national radio play, which was kind of got the ball rolling hot and fast. And then it's just been a slow, subtle burn since, kind of just plugging away. I've played uh, in countless pubs over the last, I don't know, 10 years or so. And, uh, yeah, we're in the studio now cutting our second album, but behind that EP, so it'll be a full full, full uh, album here. And we've been releasing tracks kind of one every couple months over the last uh, six months or so. Yeah, and it looks like those are published on your website, which is fantastic, yeah, exactly. at yeah, uh, so. jakebuckley.ca. That's it. So definitely check them out there. Um, yeah, so there's three up on your uh, on your website right now. Do you have any gigs lined up? So we're just in the studio right now. We've kind of, I had played in the pub scene for like, I played about 120 shows a year for the last 13 years. And then it was kind of ready for a, uh, a shift, a change of pace. So we've kind of been, we've been doing the album and then I've been, uh, we've done a couple showcases, which kind of gets us more into the private gig scene. So playing less, but uh, a little bit more money. Um, Fantastic. Yeah. Thanks to that awesome music video that somebody helped you. Yeah, with. exactly. I'm just uh, <laughs> out to film that, and uh, we we applied for the egg showcase here in Alberta, and we were Very selected. Nice. So, yeah. Oh, fantastic! Time. Shameless plug there, sir. Good job. Well 100%. done. Good for you. Yeah, absolutely. I build my brand, but not steal Jake's thunder. <laughs> Your sound is you're doing quite... that very well. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Your sound Craig. Is qu quite no problem, Derek. It's okay. Fuck Your you. sound is quite you. Your sound is very unique, uh, Jake. Yeah. And uh, as you can see, my buddy Derek likes taking the piss out of me, but that's okay. <laughs> so, um, so essentially your sound, how did you manage to come up with it? I guess let's start first off, because as a, a singer songwriters, I always love asking this question. What were some of your earliest influences? Oh, I had a real mix. Like my dad, there was never a moment in my dad's house, like or my parents' house growing up that there wasn't music playing. Uh, so I had a lot of influence from him, and he was like a big kind of Bob Seger, Steve Earle, okay. kind of Bob Dylan, like that kind of stuff. Like Tragically Hip was a big inspo for me, but I didn't really go for the Canadiana kind of rock sound. It was kind of more just like the poetic side of things, I guess. Um, yeah, Tom Petty kind of, like kind of all over the map, and then as I got older... And kind of finding my own stuff, I kind of got more into the folk side of things. So, like, one of my biggest inspirations right now is, like, Jason Isbell. Um, we just went and seen Tyler Childers in Phoenix. That was oh. Pretty, pretty awesome. Oh, yeah. and then what a, It's a unique show now. Nice. It's a unique, it's a unique show now because he's uh, sober. He's been sober for, like, three years. 
and he's oh fuck him i'm done with him then he's kind of right (laughs) fuck that guy (laughs) like the last album he put out was gospel so like we're you know in a theater in the united states and about 75 percent of the people are there to hear him sing songs about getting drunk and doing coke i think the other (laughs) that's right yeah Yeah. there for the gospel tunes and it was like okay but it was awesome man like he's got his voice is incredible and like i'm more after the writing when it comes to tyler childers and jason isbell it's just like yeah Mm -hmm. jay can i ask a quick question sure like i you've had kind of a bit of a theme to your music are you trying to change direction or just stay on the same path or how do you see the evolution of music because i'm really curious about this next album coming out i've heard the first tune off of it yeah so the the next album like i really uh, kind of after playing a hundred and some shows a year for 13 years in the pubs or the pub scene and we did like we did some festivals and we did some stuff like that but music had kind of lost its luster for me so i was really trying to the idea behind the album was that I was I was sick of being pigeonholed into a certain genre. So there's like there's acoustic tunes. A girl listened to some of the tunes she called it yacht rock. Uh, there's a really like straight up blues song. That I think the next song you guys are going to play is pretty much rock and roll. Yeah, we just kind of threw all of the rules out the window, just because that's what we felt like doing, and that was like that was what was making me happy. So. Wait, wait, rock and roll has rules. Well, I don't think you should put a rock. Well, you can. Yeah, I'm going to put a rock and roll tune like right behind an acoustic folk song. So why the hell not? Yeah, this Steve kind of, Earl's done it a million times. Yeah. Yeah, really. There you go. That was kind of yeah. I just did, was sick of listening to everybody else and just wanted to do stuff for me for a bit. Did it ever get? Did it ever get awkward when you would play the tavern down below in a bar located below street level? <laughs> yeah. That song makes me laugh because I've had countless people come up to me and they they swear they know exactly which bar that that. Is. I know which bar that is, bro. Everybody <laughs> names a different bar, right? So. It's just down from the cop shop in Edmonton. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There was a stabbing there like last week. Yeah, exactly. Everything everything's just down from the cop right shop, right now. Isn't it's it? the boss pit, pretty Edmonton. much. Oh yeah, that's yeah. There's gunshots <laughs> shots fired. Give me a break. Yeah. Wow. Have you done? Nice. Have you done? Well, obviously, there's like, it, do you consider the tavern down below a religious song? Uh, no, I don't think no. so. I think it's um, it's funny. My one of my aunts is Jehovah's Witness, and she refuses to listen to it. Which is <laughs> okay. Like you think family would come first, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she'll listen to Canadian as fuck either. So it's fine. But no, um, <laughs> no I wouldn't say it's religious. I well, think it's just like. We're just, yeah, our name is to keep Jehovah's Witnesses out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So curious to, uh, as to how do you put your, your songs together? Because, man, you got some really, really fucking cool tunes and really awesome lyrics as well. How yeah. do you start, like, how do you start putting a tune together? Does it start with words or, or melodies? Like, how do you it's put things of, together? Mostly? It's both. My, my intention for sure is to just write a story and hopefully something that people can relate to. And it, it inevitably comes from something that's happened in my life or something like embarrassing or something that like, you know, I think the tavern down below, I used to spend some vacations in Nova Scotia and you'd be in this little cobblestone bathroom with your flip flops on for whatever reason. And they'd be sticking to the floor and you think, Oh, that, that, that bar down, that bar down in the in the docks in the in the wharf district there yeah well, what's so in edmonton there used to be the bathrooms at a bar called the purple onion which closed sure. yeah yeah Were they also known as the worst toilet in scotland is that like that kind of thing yeah so yeah uh when i'm writing tunes i just kind of noodle with the guitar like i'll be sitting with the guitar and then i'll just kind of start rhyming words and sentences and then uh sometimes i'll have a direction in mind before i start and sometimes it just kind of picks a path and uh you might get halfway through and have to rewrite the first half of the song because something's changed but yeah it's all it's all kind of comes out at the same time do you really do sorry dimitri and then once you have the lyrics like verse like you know the rhyming pattern and kind of the melody for the verse and the chorus, then you can kind of put the guitar down and really focus on the structure of the, the wording. 
And do you and do you always write with a guitar, or do you some, or do you sometimes noodle at a piano or anything? Uh, or? No, I'm pretty much straight guitar guy. Like I, I don't really pick up the electric guitar much, and um, yeah, I have a piano downstairs. But yeah, typically just the guitar is what. Mm-hmm. So speaking of guitars, what guitars do you play? Well, I'm a big Martin guy, so I have a couple Martins. Uh, of course, downstairs. you are. Yeah, I got a, and then I. I'm also I like Seagull. Oh, Seagull. and uh, I I find like my Martins are really hard. They're pretty finicky, and I find I don't know. This is my theory that uh, Seagulls are made in Quebec, right? They are, but golden, yeah. They, uh, I think they're just they're just used to the climate here. Maybe because they're built in Canada, they like I have taken Seagulls all over Alberta and BC and Saskatchewan and all sorts of pubs. Just like in a hard case on my back, no humidifier, no nothing. Sound great, stay in tune. They're just like, and they're not crazy expensive. They're, you can get like a solid wood series seagull, like let's say mahogany top and sides with like a rosewood neck, might be fifteen hundred bucks. If you got the yep. same Martin, you're probably ten grand. So. Yep. Oh. So you yeah, hear that, Godin? Jake Buckley needs a sponsorship. There you go. Hundred percent. There, there's a good plug. Just right putting there. it out there, putting it out yeah, there. Well, I, Martin, I, I didn't really say anything nice about Martin, but <laughs> no, Martin's great. Martin's a great guitar, and I I know a yeah. bunch of people that are, that that play Martins. But I have I I, I play I I have a Seagull myself, and nice. I love it. I absolutely adore it. Um, and it, it and you're very right. It's 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 very versatile, and wherever you take it. It's still it's still decent, yeah. whereas a lot of the yeah. the the higher end, higher price guitars, you bring them to certain mm-hmm. ve- certain certain venues, certain places, and they're like, oh, I don't, I'm slightly mm, my G strings up my yeah, ass. Exactly. I don't know what's going on. Well, se- well, seagulls are transported by dog sled. Are they? So, no. There we go. <laughs> no. Well, That's why done. they're so used to the well, climate. <laughs> well done, Dimitri. That was no I, doubt. I appreciate your humor, buddy. By Canadian really seagulls, actually. That's, yeah. so I just I've wish. Seen, I just I've wish Derek Jake. appreciated my humor. I don't appreciate everybody does, man. About you. Everybody does. <laughs> I've seen Jake play at a multitude of venues in Edmonton. I've seen him play in pubs. I've seen him play in front of pubs during COVID. Um, like in a fucking parking lot where we're all wearing masks and we're 20 feet from each other with our smuggled beer we brought in in some strip mall. It was great. (laughs) But the best place I've seen Jake play, speaking of taverns down below, is he has the most dope your uncle's 1978 bar in his basement. Hmm. Are you sitting in it right now? No, No, you should be down there, dude. It's fucking awesome. I walk the first time I went there. I walked down there, and I'm like, "This, I'm re- I'm at my uncle's house, man, in '79." Yeah. I thought that's is, where Chris he's was. Got, he's got the wicked coolest bar in his basement, yeah. and he's done live gigs for a handful of friends down there, and it's been great. That's a when you get yeah. when the full length record is done, Jake. Obviously, you're going to come back and going to have to talk about it. The awesome. next time that you're on the program, you have to be in that bar. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's, a, it's under renovation. Chris is probably going to get mad at me, but I've downsized it slightly. What? Uh, just a little bit. <laughs> you can, like just a couple of tables. For what? My wife, you my wife is talking children. Oh. And, which I'm like, okay with. That's fine. But I'm like, I don't want to have a child and be doing renos. So yeah. I think I need a safe place to hang out. That's Because there was like about six months ago there was like you know you could see 20 people down there comfortably like everybody had their own tables oh There's easy we had wow we're not down. down there it was great, yeah it was man. kick-ass but like it's all if you don't have 20 people over it's a lot of wasted space how, how are you going to make this up to army chris well i you should Just see, stop inviting me over half. <laughs> yeah. bar in half. and uh the the back half that still bar is totally kick ass. So you're nice. gonna you're gonna rent all the place where you used to play out of that side. Exactly. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. You can still get on the, in the corner there at the bar. It'll work. Yeah, I got fantastic. You. Question yeah. question for you, buddy. Because um, yeah. that's why we're here. Just yeah. wondering, once you finish the, is do you have any sort of timeline as as when you're trying to maybe get the record finished or Thursday? 
we're working on the last two tracks right now, and they're pretty well ready to be mastered. So that only takes about a month, and then I think I'm going to release uh, one one per month. I might even make it quicker. Like I wasn't sure how to release the album if I should go all, all the songs at once, but then you you risk you know having a really good song in the middle of ten that nobody listens to. Two singles, man. So two singles. Yeah. Yeah, seems so to be the them yeah cool. singles seems to be the singles like periodically released seems to be the way that e- streaming is going. I, I think it's the only way to really get your audience to listen to each individual song. Like I even myself, I can't remember the last time like a full length album has come out by an artist that I really like, and I've given it the my full time a day. Mm-hmm. You're right, and a lot a lot of artists. Are, are doing that right now they're releasing the bulk of the album as individual singles and then like yeah. you just get the album as an afterthought later yeah, or exactly or they'll or they'll release like a little three track five track ep yeah. yeah 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 i wanted to have like and then so it's kind of a rock and a hard place because if you have a three track ep if you're trying to get like festival or soft cedar gigs where they want you to sell merch sometimes that's not enough yeah so yeah you're kind of trying to please the mat please both sides of things like i want to sell music and i want my audience to hear it but then i also want to have enough material to be able to do like full length sets at a festival so Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah i think that releasing singles one at a time until you have an album in a short period of time is the best i don't Mm -hmm. know i don't know what yeah Yeah, that makes sense. That's the question that was actually going to be my next question for you is. So we're on the last two tracks. So the the whole album should be done and released in the next six months. Uh, It'll all be available. Where are you recording it? Uh, We are at Night Vision Music. I'm working with a producer named Curtis Schultz. And it's been kick ass. It's been like a super fun process. Like I said, I was kind of, uh, I was in a valley. I wasn't in a peak. And uh, this has been awesome. Nice. Kind of relaxed. Was that the same place right. we did that vid? Right. You betcha. Oh, man. It was the smallest space on earth to try to film. Worked out good, man. That, that video. Yeah, hey, about my really game cool. for the next thing we do together. But uh, that was a tight right. space. But it's a really great space to record in. It's it's yeah. comfortable and very, it's cool. Chris, you call me next so a time tour. you film and I'll come out. Yeah, man, for sure. You should. Totally. I would. 100%. Assuming the assuming the province isn't fucking on fire, come on out. Which well, it is right now, by the way. It, it does that occasionally. I got yeah. sunburned today, and it's it's like 30 degrees here. Jesus, fuck. What? It's like 8 yeah, degrees really? here. There's forest fires. Yeah, was- there's fires in the city. They're closing the friggin' Hende, the ring route. Like, it's a shit show here. It's the really? apocalypse again. Yeah, man. Like there's no rain degrees. in sight for like a month. Windy. Sorry, Jake. I didn't mean to interrupt you with an Edmonton weather report, but um, uh, <laughs> you're you're, you're, you're uh, Chris. Indoors. You're you're Chris. Can you do a Australia? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Seriously, Chris. Atlanta. Could you Chris? Can you do me a favor? Do a quick time check, would you? Do the FM radio thing. <laughs> it's uh, uh, thirty minutes past the Big Boss hour. Where were you that, when this next song was number one? Ah, <laughs> there you go. Fantastic. That's why you're doing your own show, buddy. Um, so, Jake. <laughs> Jake, next question for you, my friend. When are you going to get the fuck out of Firefield, Edmonton, and go on fucking tour? In yeah, other words, come, I know. There's, this, there's this little there's this little place called Toronto. We have a couple of venues yeah. here, so just wondering I when know. you might want to show up here and 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 play and a live gig people. for us. Yeah, we know a few. Yeah, you know what? Like now that the the circle of friends is growing, especially out that way, mm-hmm. I think we should put that on the list of things to do. Fuck yeah, we'll hook it up for you, brother. Honestly, maybe after this album release, we should do like a we could do like a hot and fast, maybe like a three week or something like that. Mm-hmm. Just mm-hmm. See what happens. Fuck yeah, dude! That all those amazing. rednecks in Hamilton that love your shit. I can tell you that. Oh, totally. Yeah. Burlington I love Sound, rednecks. Burlington Sound of Music. You've got that yeah. that <laughs> festival out in London. You've got Hillside. Yep. You've got yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Let's do it. There's a million fucking shows. There is yeah, really you, awesome. you, you could clean house and in, in, on a on a say two three week tour in, in, in uh, the gta cool. for sure oh, 100 nice. yeah absolutely well we should well i'll connect Summer. with you guys via email and if you can send me a short list of festivals that you think would work we will send our shit to them done Fuck yeah and also also some really really fucking cool great venues out here as well too just like either nice. big or small yeah. like there's just a million things cool. that we could uh, we could do maybe we'll sit down have a chit chat with you and do like uh, a jake buckley expose 
Love to. Right? Sit down, do a quick interview, and then uh, get you to play some music for us. That'll be fucking fantastic. So, Done. Definitely, yeah. brother. Absolutely. So, um, we are going to... I'm just going to play something off of your um, website here, if that's okay with you. Sure. Uh, out of me and yeah. you, uh, Nostalgia, or uh, Worried About the Day You Go, which uh, song would you prefer? Ooh, the newest one is Nostalgia. Okay. And that one's kind of... That was the one that the girl called Yacht Rock. Oh, oh curious. What the fuck is that? So, so, so I don't know, submit to the moon. This is what I want to listen to if I was on a boat. Boats and hoes. That, is that Yacht Rock, that, too? I don't that know, would anyway. be Yacht Rock, sir. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, well, listen, um, dude, we seriously appreciate you, Jake. This has been a lot of fun, brother. And honestly, when you finish this record, definitely we got to get you back on the program and talk all about it. And, uh, yeah, we'll definitely have you back on, brother. This, is, this has been a blast. So thanks so much for your time I tonight, brother. Thank you guys so much. Thank you so much for having me on the show. Anytime, thanks, brother. Jake. Anytime. Awesome. Thank so, you. Jake, uh, yeah, we're just going to spin one of your tunes. If you want to hang out for it, then cool. If not, you, you're welcome to you know do your thing. Yeah, I'll take a listen. Whatever you like. Okay, so we're going to play Nostalgia, and in order to do that, I need to do uh, I need to do this. Push okay. some buttons. Do Don't things. laugh at me. Oh, I we're totally to laughing that. at you. I need to do that. Well, I know you are, Derek. You always laugh <laughs> at me. Old man. Don't forget. Uh, Don't forget here we go. To throw that lever. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Here we go. All right, so we've got it, got and it. Uh, we're going to play this track. Hopefully, you guys can hear this. If you can't, just yell at me. If not, um, yeah, what can I say? I'll, I'll do my best to get it on here. So uh, we are going to play the track Nostalgia from the new record called Stand Your Ground, coming out uh, hopefully in about six months, our new bestie here at Revolution Radio. Canadian as fuck, episode 51, Jake Buckley. This track is called Nostalgia. Thanks so much, brother. We appreciate you hanging out tonight. Absolute Muppet. No. Nothing. Shit in the bed, Craig. Shit in it. Got something else. No, (laughs) ladies and gentlemen, we're experiencing technical difficulties. (laughs) All right, Jake. Sing. He could play the SNFU song he didn't play before. Sing, monkey. Um, I don't know how you pull that up, man. Why is oh the the gopher face is the best? That's the best. Why are we not? Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, while Craig's working this out, I'm going to go back to what I said earlier about the best rock album of all time, which I do believe is Back in Black by ACDC. Why is that? Because the album is now 43 years old, and 8 of 10, there's 10 songs on an album, 8 of 10 of them are still in rotation today. So many people might argue, whatever band, I'm here to tell you, Back in Black, as far as surviving the test of time, is the greatest rock album of all time. Yes, I'm biased. I'm an ACDC fan. But name one other album that is in rotation today across modern rock, classic rock stations that have eight out of ten album or eight out of ten tracks out of one album. Name name an album. Go ahead, I challenge you. Not you, Craig. Keep fucking doing your thing. <laughs> see, I have I see Chris, I, I will I will I I will completely agree with you. I I will agree with oh, you. Oh, I was hoping you were gonna challenge me. No, no, no. I will agree with you in this. I, I, I spent I spent an evening in a in a pub on the east end of Toronto, yep. um, in which my friends left me at. Uh, because That's rude. There, well, no, there's a reason. Um, uh, okay. There were a couple, there were a couple of guys at the bar, and they were having a discussion yeah. over the greatest rock band ever. Ever. Uh, that'll never end, though. Yeah, it'll never yeah. end. So they st- so so I, I you know I'm sitting there with my friends having a pint doing a thing whatever and I, and I overheard yeah. the conversation and I of course went like this I was like oh what's going on over here and the first guy says Led Zeppelin is the greatest rock band to ever exist on the face of the earth and I said fair ripped off a bunch of black guys but fair okay fair and his buddy says. Radiohead is the greatest rock band to ever exist. That guy can the- fucking leave. Right? So so I said, I just, I was like, I turned to my friends and I said, I'm sorry, but I have to get involved. So I said, guys, <laughs> yeah. 
guys, not only you, not only are you arguing the entirely wrong things, but you're you're arguing over apples and air conditioners. Not even the same. Not even fruit. We're not even the same genre. You're arguing apples yeah. and air conditioners. It's two completely fucking different things. Mm-hmm. So when whenever somebody says the greatest rock album to ever exist and we know we we know what that is because they got a grammy jethro tull (laughs) (laughs) over metallica the black oh, album. Okay. For the love now, of Christ. Now I fucking I remember. I thought that was over. For now I remember Justice when for this happened. Was it Justice? Yeah, like was you, it Justice? I think it was for yeah, Justice man, for I think, All. Yeah. <sighs> Dave is right. <laughs> Holy fuck. I think How it's about time for me to. to I think it's about time and- for me to mute. I think it's about time for me to mute Derek's microphone. Um, eat shit. So we out. are going to. Okay. So here's the situation. Um. ACDC's Black and Back in Black is a, a fabulous fucking record. There's it no really denying is. that. The only downside I'm to it is it's, not, Cana- it's not Canadian as fuck. So it's really, no, uh, no, I was, just, I was filling time while you sort out your technical challenge. Jake's yeah, just, well, my technical challenges going, unfortunately weren't. Sitting. Wow, this is amazing watching you fucking four assholes just argue with each other. <laughs> Hey, I didn't. Uh, I didn't. I wasn't I arguing at all, actually. To be honest with you, yeah, there was only two assholes, Derek. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, so, Jake, we apologize. Well, I'm happy to be here. No, Jake's no. Ha- Jake's having a blast. I guarantee mm. that. Okay, so yeah, it doesn't allow me to share audio. That's just fucking stupid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Jake's um, website up on the screen here. I'm going to play an oldie if you don't mind. I apologize. Yeah, my friend. Right. I've got I've got yeah. Crossroads here queued up. Is that is that cool? Awesome. Perfect. Okay. Again, episode fifty-one. Wow, that sucked. Anyway, <laughs> that's, I apologize, Jake. Again. Yeah, we'll try this again. Yeah, oh, we absolutely. Filled it. No dead so air. Here we... No dead air. Yeah. True. True. Uh, Canadian as fuck. Revolution Radio with our pal Jake Buckley. Thanks, brother. I've drank oceans in my day Been a lot of places and I know where to stay Never take any pictures, just live in the moment Live in the moment and own it Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah what you want is what you have, you are the better man Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah What you want is what you have, you are the better man You can think about tomorrow Or you can live today You can climb a mountain You can sail away State of mind Or state of time Well, so more drunk You are a friend of mine Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah What you want is what you have You are the better man What you want is what you have, you are the better man Follow my dreams When I wake up I remember nothing It seems A world full of Fake smiling faces Cold shoulders They never embrace us Yeah, yeah, yeah What you want is what you have You are the best Better man.
man You are the better man Thanks again, Jake. We really appreciate it, brother. Thanks, man. Cheers, boys. We'll see you next time. You bet. Have a great night. Thank you.